Hey guys, welcome back. Um, what's up? Uh, been out for a while. Um, doing the cranky build, got that done, picture sent in, so moving on to this Bel Air here. Um, I've been, my goal this year is to try to hit as many model shows as I can, I guess. Um, with uh, the fact in, in in my mind that, you know, I, I don't want to drive too far out. I mean, a lot of the good ones are farther away than I want to go. Uh, there was one in Ohio I want to try to get to, but I'm not sure. Um, I know there's a uh, good guy show in Indianapolis, which is just a couple hours away from me, uh, where there's a model show for the weekend. So I'm definitely going to hit that one up in June. So if anyone's out and about, I think it's June 6th through the June 5th, 6th, and 7th, I believe. So I'm going to hit that one up with a couple cars, uh, including this one. Um, I know people on Facebook that follow me there have seen a few stages of this, um, but I figured it's time to get back into uh, making some more videos. So here we go. Um, body work here. As you can see, I've uh, taken all the the chrome off. I still have to get the door handles. Um, I filled in the rear fenders, Frenched in the, the front headlights. Um, I've had an issue with getting this smooth as far as filling it with uh, putty. I've tried, um, now let's see, tried the Tamiya, uh, I've tried the Bondo glazing. Um, and it really hasn't worked. Um, get it in primer and it still shows, um, you know, a little bit of, uh, well, it's out of focus, but anyway, it still shows a gap. So what's worked for me is uh, super glue. Uh, I'll just spread a bead over it and just kind of thin it out and get it to, uh, where it's a little rough and then just go back through and sand it and that's been working so and that's what I've used to fill the gaps in the, the cranky calendar build as well so I mean it's working um, I've used it on let's see if I can get in here on the headlights here um, so you know it is what it is I guess uh, maybe I'm just not doing it right or I'm using the wrong stage or whatever but anyway so there's the body um, I'm not going to chop the top, there's the back, uh, did take the chrome off the back, I still have the, the hood to do, take the, the, the emblem off of that. Um, for the interior, here we go, we've got, um, I did have uh, the original seats in the front, but for whatever reason they didn't work out too well, so I found some buckets that I have, uh, I think it's from a Mustang. But the um, uh, the the pattern on it, I guess, uh, kind of matches the the rear seat. So as you can see, I had to strip that one down and read. I still have to redo it. So, but as far as the interior goes, everything else is done. Um, got my little uh, if I can get in there, my little flying eyeball. Um, you can't really see. Paint it up. Um, I took the uh, chrome uh, steering wheel and used some, oh, what is it, folk art. Um, let's see, extreme glitter. And all this is is pretty much just tinted glitter, I guess. Um, and just kept piling it up on the uh, chrome part, and it ends up looking like. Uh, oh, the old 50s and 60s steering wheels that the guys used to use. It was like the, the clear plastic kind of with the chrome or the glitter in it. And I did it on the, the shifter level too. So as far as like stock interior, it's not going to be. But I mean, it's going to work. So that's all that matters. Um, wheels and tires are going to be uh, just a steel fronts. Um, it's going to set pretty much on the ground anyway so I won't need really any kind of wheel for the, the back just the, the tire and some basic basic wheel for that but all in all it's uh, giving me some fits but it's coming along which is kind of frustrating because the uh, 
the calendar build went together like insanely easy and everything worked out so I was due for a problematic problematic build so anyway this is what I got um, for the good guy show um, like I said I'll keep I'll be doing more videos now that I've got that done and um, another thing I had to do was just kind of get away from videos because I was finding myself trying to compete for the best see if I could find the best intro and and this and that and I was getting kind of frustrated so it was kind of good that the, the calendar rail came up give me a chance to just like kind of unplug from it get away from the matrix but uh, anyway I'm rambling on uh, you guys take it easy thanks for all my subs uh, thanks for my comments thanks for following me on Facebook um, and you guys keep it up and take it easy have a good rest of the weekend all right later guys